Hello folks! Today I'm going to show you how to animate Jupiter's rotation and even capture one of its moons in orbit. And uh, the data I have to work with only spans around 20 minutes, so there's not going to be a lot of rotation going on with Jupiter in that. I would have liked to have captured one and a half hours to two hours, but there's, there's nothing but rain in Detroit. So th this is all I've got to work with for who knows when I'll be able to get out again. And, and you can see the date modified. The first file I captured was 10.36 p.m. and the last one was 10.56 p.m. Uh, if you saw my, my, last light, my, my last video, you would see how I was capturing this data. So this is, I've got nine different um, video files. Uh, I think I captured 5,000 frames in each one spaced out over 20 minutes and and let's see how to put everything together so that we've got Jupiter actually rotating. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stack each of those files that I just showed you in Auto Stacker. And I've already launched Auto Stacker here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click open and we'll take the oldest file, uh the one I created at 1036. You want to make sure you go in the right order here. Now, this is the oldest one, the first one I created, actually. I'm going to click that. Okay, there's my Jupiter there. Now, I'm not an expert with auto Autostacker. Um, I've only used it once before, a few days ago. And if you want to really know how to use the software, uh, go watch someone else's video on YouTube, because I, I don't profess to being an expert here. And after I open it, I'm going to click Analyze. And um, I copied these settings from somebody else, the frame percentage to stack, number of frames to stack per, you know, according to my 5,000 frames that I originally captured. And there's a way, in which it, this works a lot like uh, Registax. You want to click a bunch of reference points. There's a way to do this automatically. I just can't remember it at the moment. I'll just do it manually for now. Just click a bunch of points. Oops, oops, I didn't like that one. All right. And now I'm going to click Stack. La -ti -da -ti -da. Okay, now it's stacked. And what it did, you can see it created four subfolders. And the, the four subfolders from what I take, pertain to the, the frame percentage to stack, 10, 20, 50. You can see the 10, 20, 50 that I told it, and I guess 1,000 right there. So you can go through each of these and, and see which data you like, you think turned out the best and, and use that one. But just make sure whichever one you, you choose that it's consistent with your other ones because you want to make sure you're doing all of these files the same way. Okay. Let's go back to Animate Jupiter. Okay, now I've stacked all of my data. Now I want to do a little bit of processing on them because I want to make sure the moon shows up in these files. So what I'm going to do is I've already got um, Registax opened up. And let's go to my stack data. I'll just drag the first one over to it. And, okay, and just for now, you, there's a, a ton of things and a ton of tweaks you can make with these wavelets. That's up to you. And I'm for now, I'm just going to pull up the histogram. And I'm going to pull this all the way to about here. I already know if I go this far. I've got the moon. I don't know how well you're going to see that in the video, but I've got the moon showing up right there. And I'm going to click Save. And I'm just going to call this, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Number one. Number one. Just like that. And that's all I did. And I'm going to pull up each file and give it the exact same stretch. So all nine are going to look very similar. Okay, so I processed all of the data and you can see what they look like. Pretty pretty bright Jupiter 
and you can should be able to see that moon right there. I, I'm like I said, I hope it shows up okay on the video. Now I want to animate the nine, and so I'm going to open up Pip. This software called Pip. I've had it loaded for a while, but I never used it really. Not not for this. But I'm going to click on File. I'm going to add source files. Let's see where I want to go here. Uh, animate Jupiter, process data, one through nine. I'm going to open up all of them. Okay, whatever. Um, it's showing me this, but I don't need this. I'm going to close that. Because I want to go into animation options. I'm going to click on this tab here. Now I'm new at this too, so um, I can't really say too much about it. But I'm going to say forward, play, play all frames in forward order. And, you know, once it gets to the end, let's make it go in reverse. I, it, like a yo-yo effect. Why not? It'll keep it going. And then play, play them all in reverse. Now I'm going to say output options. Um, I want to select animated GIF, and I think all I'm going to do here, the frame rate. I think the frame rate of 20, I tried this before, 20, 25 looks good. I'll just set it for 20 now. Do processing. And now, it. this got me before, it says processing, and it makes it look like it's running, but really you have to still click start processing. Okay. And that was fast. It created my animated GIF. It's right here. Let's click on it. And I hope you can see it moving. It's going back and forth. Now keep in mind, um, this is only this only covers a 20 minute time span. But if I had a full hour and a half, two hours, um, that would look really cool. You would see the moon going out more, probably coming back in. You would see the great red spot probably going off the edge. So that's how you uh, animate Jupiter. Um, and thanks to Chris, my friend on Facebook, for giving me a bunch of pointers on how to do this. And um, I hope you found this useful. I, I think it looks cool. It's a lot more fun than just looking at a, a still image. Okay, I'll see you later.